Hey everyone, this is D Movie Man. Now one thing I think you guys know about me at this point is that I love all the behind the scenes information when it comes to certain films and production and all of that. So one thing that I definitely wanted to do, because it's one of the things I find most interesting, is getting into alternative casting for very well known and popular movies. So I figured I'd pop in with some quick casting trivia for the 1988 film Beetlejuice, directed by Tim Burton. So, when it comes to the title role of Beetlejuice, Tim Burton's original choice was none other than Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, but that's just the beginning of a very long list of actors who were considered. This includes Dustin Hoffman, Robin Williams, Christopher Lloyd, Jim Carrey, Tim Curry, Jack Nicholson, Bill Murray. The producers also considered Dudley Moore, as well as Sam Kinison for the role. But eventually, it went to Michael Keaton after being suggested by David Geffen. However, one of the most surprising prospects regarding the role, and would have likely come in early development before the film took on its quirky horror twist and instead was going to be developed as a very darkly serious horror film. Let's just say that this actor might be known for one of the most famous three-letter movie quotes of all time. I'll be back. As far as Lydia Dietz, the role was auditioned for by several actresses at the time, including Sarah Jessica Parker, Brooke Shields, Lori Laughlin, Diane Lane, Justine Bateman, Heather Langenkamp, Molly Ringwald, Juliette Lewis, and Jennifer Connelly. And as a quick side note, I would also like to mention that there seems to be slightly conflicting reports and information regarding which of these actresses rejected the role, were considered for the role, auditioned for the role, and so on. Alyssa Milano was also the runner-up for the role, shortly before it went to Winona Ryder. Similarly, the role of Barbara Maitland is another one that passed through the hands of more than a few actresses. This includes Sigourney Weaver, Linda Hamilton, Laura Dern, Linda Blair, and Goldie Hawn. However, it is actually Kirstie Alley who was initially offered the part. Unfortunately, she had to turn it down due to scheduling conflicts with Cheers. Gina Davis eventually scored the role after she met with Tim Burton and let him know how much she really got and understood the film. And later he told her that one of the reasons he cast her was because he wasn't really sure he understood his own film. <laughs> So it might be pretty handy to have someone around who was very sure they got and understood everything that's going on. I was attracted to this movie because it's so unique. You know, it, it, when I read it, I said, well, I just have to be in this movie. I try to think about how people will, will react when they see it, and I think they'll just say, oh, what was that? Did you see that movie? It's like, you have to see it, it's weird. For the role of Otho, John Candy, John Goodman, Wayne Knight, and Bob Hoskins were all considered shortly before Glenn Shaddix was cast. Lastly, Angelica Houston was originally cast as Delia Dietz, but was later forced to drop out due to illness. Ironically enough, Catherine O'Hara, who eventually became the Delia Dietz we know today, initially declined Tim Burton's offer for the role. In fact, she only accepted after Tim Burton flew out personally to meet with her and convince her to take it. And to throw in another fun fact, Catherine O'Hara also met and eventually married production designer Bo Welch while working on Beetlejuice, and they are still married to this day, 32 years later. Ironically enough, despite not being a part of the actual cast, it might surprise you to learn that Tim Burton was not the original choice to direct this film. That, in fact, was none other than Wes Craven. Yes, THE Wes Craven. However, he decided to decline due to his reluctance to direct a horror comedy movie. Yeah, well, life comes at you fast. And here is where I want to hear from you all. Now, if given the opportunity, what alternative casting do you think could have worked for this film? Yes, we know the roles are perfectly cast as is, 
but in an alternate universe, what other version of this film do you think could have worked with different casting? Please feel free to let me know down below. And until next time, this is D Movie Man, signing off, and I'll see you at the movies.